Hola, boys and girls. Tis I, Crash Overrun, once again. Alright, I'm here today to, uh, teach you guys about some alternate data streams. Otherwise known as ADS. Yay! <laughs> Alright, uh, ADS is pretty much native to the NTFS partitions, so it's basically native to Windows. Um, they created ADS back when they uh, came out with Windows NT, which was quite a while ago. Um, they basically made it so that their systems could be compatible with the Macintosh HFS systems, which is one of the filing systems that they that they use. Um, what ADS does is it forks the file information uh, into separate resources. If you guys want to know more about the HFS, then go look it up. Um, anyways, uh, what the Windows uses alternate data streams for typically is like temporary storage at uh, system attributes stuff like that. Um, alternate data streams actually isn't too widely known. Uh, it is known about but not really widely known. It's usually looked over. Um, and it's actually really easy to do. The culprit behind the whole ADS is actually the colon like that alright let's get started on this uh, go ahead and do a dir directory here uh, like you guys look at I have three files here I have notepad.exe which is 69 kilobytes uh, made 213 just last time it was altered I have uh, example dot txt which is 8 bytes which is 204 is when it was last altered and then let's see I have calc dot exe which is 7 a.m. oh yeah and also look at the the dates here as you see alright so one thing that we can do one easy thing that we can do would be let's see echo. All right, first let me show you what's in example notepad example dot text. Hello, there's hello. So what we could do would be like uh, echo test into C ADS. You have to have the full path. For these little tip there example.txt colon hidden hidden dot text As you see went through uh, what we could do now is notepad c ads example dot text hidden dot text and there it is there's our test all right and here let me show you again there is no hidden dot text shown. Also, another thing to look at, nice way to, uh, well, simple way to tell if something's been altered is, as you see here now, the example dot text showing 2.16 p.m. it was altered, where up here it's showing 2.04 it was last altered. All right little heads up on that alright if you know you have an alternate data stream file attached to another file one such as we have here one simple way to do to remove it would be to go ahead and rename the example dot text to say temp dot text we're going to do type temp dot text back in redirect into example dot text uh, for those of you who don't know what type is 
Uh, basically, all that does is it echoes out the contents of a file, uh, kind of like cat in Linux for you people. Uh, go ahead and run that. And now we can go ahead and delete temp.txt. And that will take care of our ADS file. All right. So another thing that you can do, the uh, reason I have the executables in here, is you can actually do this with uh, exes as well. Um, we're going to use a type again, like we just did. Uh, let's do ads um, calc.exe redirect it into c ads notepad.exe colon calc.exe run that went through okay start c oh let me go ahead and show you guys delete calc.exe okay Der. all right now we only have two files notice same same size was altered to 19 at 2:19 p.m. rather than up here where it was altered at 2:13 p.m. okay all right start notepad.exe oh forgot ads notepad.exe colon calc.exe and there you go it started up and as you see right here it was deleted so it's basically hidden a hidden file so let's get rid of it again like we did just before rename notepad.exe temp.exe type temp.exe into notepad.exe and then delete temp.exe there we go alright there's one more thing I wanted to show you guys uh, this here is actually a re really neat little trick echo test redirect c ads colon hidden dot text yes that's right ads even works with directories run that as you see it went through so notepad c ads hidden dot text bam there it is yeah as you may have guessed this can be really useful uh, you can hide rootkits, viruses, wherever you want. Um, it can also be really dangerous. Uh, there's a few ways other than the simple little way that I showed you to get rid of ADS. Because um, the way that I showed you only works if you actually know that that file is infected. Uh, there's a few programs on the net. Uh, you can get AdAware. You can get uh, one called LADS or LADS and there's also one called Crucial ADS and there's a lot more that's just a couple just to get you started anyways uh, that basically covers the basics of alternate data streams hope it uh, ignited a little bit of interest there uh, hope you have fun peace out